call Merima Davidson, five minutes. Tēnā koe i te māngai o te whare hurinoa ki a koutou ngā mema pāre matakatoa i te māngai mai tūpuna understood trade uh, and they understood economy. Um, being savvy economists and savvy traders is in our <coughs> Māori whakapapa. Um, I was just in Koru Rarika in the Bay of Islands over Waitangi weekend looking out over the very bay where Māori and Pākehā trade was a flourishing infrastructure by the early 19th century, um, and this was so around Aotearoa. And I know I can't resist this, but our people once were traders. <laughs> but, you know, despite uh, iwi becoming involved in a new trading economy with Pākehā, they did not fundamentally change the way they organised Fano and hapū. And there lies the difference. The power structures uh, that were necessary to maintain our honest care for each other, our whenua and our why, had to stand strong. So I'm um, thinking about the words of Anemi Kaire, um, who talks about the word rangatira, uh, and who says, with ranga, coming from the word raranga, which means to weave, and with tira, referring to a group. Um, so it's apparent that the task of a rangatira was to weave together a group. Ite mangai, the TPPA, as we have heard from many learned experts from around the world and from here, is not about trade. This crappy deal is not about weaving people together. And the learned experts in all sorts of fields and stakeholder groups alongside mass movements, 250,000 in Germany including, um, caring citizens around the world are opposed to this deal and are standing up strong to say so. Um, so as the spokesperson for Māori Affairs, I'm proud that the Green Party stands strong with those caring citizens and learned experts, and certainly with the vast majority of tangata whenua who feel super excluded by the process and who know that the driving force behind this deal is not to weave people together. It is not to sustain papatua nuku, our big mother. Um, FOMA may not have been on the anti-TPPA hikoi, but Mr Key, there were many more Māori on the hikoi, Māori taking a claim to the Waitangi Tribunal, Māori on the front lines of commentary about this deal, um, Māori collaborating internationally with other opposed groups, and I mihi tu uh, moana. Um, but, you know, I want to say to Mr Key, you just keep holding on to your few allies and holding them up to be the majority, and they are not. They are not. Um, there are so many other voices who need to be heard in this House, no matter how many times this government ignores them. Um, and, and I've been hearing from previous uh, speakers from the government, who have obviously been ignoring those voices when they say they cannot present alternative visions. They're not alternative visions. They are what we need to survive in this world. This here now that we've got, this is the alternative that we need to change. Um, so those voices aren't just opposed to this deal. Those people like the Greens have visions for better trade, for fair trade, and for better industries that aren't going to die a painful, excruciating death and take our people with them. So, Mr Speaker, um, along with the voices who need representation in this House that oppose the TPPA, I want to also support the tribunal report that said the Crown does not have widespread support for the Ture Whenua reforms. And Minister Finlayson came out yesterday, uh, the, over the weekend, and dismissed the tribunal's response. Um, I want to say it's Ture Whenua Māori. It's Māori land. If Māori are not collectively rushing and driving these changes, then our job is to turituri, to taihua, and to whakarongo. E te mangai, I'm always mindful of the honour it is for me to stand in this house, represent the voices, and represent the Green Party. Kia ora.